Well, that was really good. And uh, another round for Kate. I thought it was an interesting beginning uh, choice to start on the ice sort of in fetal position. Um, I got the feeling uh, that the overall theme, and I could be wrong here, um, was bird-like, and perhaps there was like an egg beginning, a hatching, you know, that kind of thing. The de definitely, if you're going to be working with a skater who is as talented with her upper body as Kate is, you'll want to make good use of our movements, and this program did that. I thought it did it very well. There was a lot of uh, um, quiet reverie um, that I think matched the phrasing of the music, and definitely some fanciful positioning that uh, sort of communicated the the style and the era of the piece of music. I liked the, the bird-like arm movements that were sustained throughout the program. I, was, uh, I would have liked it to have moved and skated a little bit sooner and then had better coverage over the ice, um, more complete coverage over the ice. But um, it was definitely a theater piece, I felt, that, you were, that um, I enjoyed the, um, the uh, sort of the nuanced, very uh, particular presentation of it. Um, I would have liked to have seen more skating elements overall, but uh, what I did see in the movement I thought was well choreographed. The layback definitely matched the bird-like theme to the arms. And I would give this four stars. Lovely, absolutely lovely, Kate. I. Um the port de bras work was exquisite, absolutely exquisite. The, the delineation of all the little, every little muscle and, and bone in your arms through your fingertips was just um, delightful. Uh, I felt that the whole piece was very touching. It had a tenderness to it um, that I loved. I would have, it made me want more, however, but I felt like the expression of it the, the tone of it um, went beyond the norm. Um, I felt that there was so much breath to the arms that I wanted to see more breath from the face. I mean, she, you have a, a, there's a, a lovely look, but I felt like there was so much breath in the arms that I wanted that much more in the face and in the back, in the use of the back. Um, However, I did think that the whole piece was, um, was a mature piece, very maturely presented. I liked the way that um, the use of, of space, uh, of the pause, the use of pause was used. So I gave her four and a half stars. Um, I thought that was just beautiful, you know, just watching it. Um, I, I just notice like how comfortable and at ease I felt when I was watching it and that's really cool when you watch something and it makes you feel something that's that's really incredible and that's why we perform um, I, I really liked how she hit all the notes so subtly you know it wasn't big motions hitting each and every note it was just such little motions that really just really brought us into the performance and I loved how she used the length of all the notes you know, it wasn't just hit, it was hit, and it just never really ended. It was really, it was, I don't know, it was breathtaking in spots. I thought it was great. Um, I don't really have much bad to say about it. You know, no criticisms come to mind. I, I was really, really pleased. I loved how it came back, and it kind of closed the same way that it started, and it just kind of brought it full circle, which is hard to do in such a short piece. But um, I thought it was great. So... I gave the piece four and a half stars. <laughs>